Octoprint is already the most popular way to remotely monitor and control your 3D printer. From monitor and control to time-lapse recording, it really takes 3D printing to the next level. With all the extra plugins available, there's an endless number of things that you can do with Octoprint. In this video, we'll share some of our favorite and the most popular Octoprint plugins. First, we'll show you how to install them. With Octoprint open, head over to the settings, which is the wrench icon. Go ahead and scroll down to plugin manager, and then just hit get more. You can search for any of the plugins that we talk about or any other ones you see, and then just install them right here. And this is actually the first plugin we wanted to share with you guys today. The simple emergency stop adds an awesome button to the top of your Octoprint instance. That way, if you have a bad failure, your nozzle's crashing into your bed, you can just instantly stop the printer and shut off all the motors right away. After installing a plugin, you'll have to restart Octoprint before the changes will take effect. And now you can already see that I have my simple emergency stop button installed. It's a little small though, so let's go ahead and make it bigger. We'll just go into the settings and we'll do the enable big button. And when Octoprint's connected, it'll be a big red button. Our next plugin is the Spaghetti Detective. The Spaghetti Detective is the easiest way to access Octoprint from anywhere. With the web app or mobile app, you can monitor and control multiple 3D printers, watch time-lapse videos, and the Spaghetti Detective will watch for failures with AI failure detection. She'll even stop the print if she detects a failure. Like right here, ah, oh, poor Squid Game mask. Luckily in this case, the print stopped after a minute or so instead of going for hours and hours. Just like here too. The Spaghetti Detective even lets you access the full Octoprint user interface from anywhere with an internet connection. Did I mention you can do all this on the mobile or web app? Display Layer Progress, as the name suggests, allows you to display the layer progress of your prints in the Octoprint interface. But it also gives you the ability to add some features in the nav bar and a play-by-play -play readout of what's going on with the printer. Our next plugin is Octolapse which is the awesome piece of software that's responsible for making these amazing time lapses. You can configure it in a bunch of different ways to make it look like it's growing out of the bed or in an animated printing style, but no matter what you do, it just produces some of the most amazing time lapses that you can get with a 3D printer. We really love the vase mode prints with Octolapse. They always turn out really great. Before Octolapse will work correctly, you'll have to configure it with your slicer. Head over to the settings in Octoprint Hit add profile, type in your printer name or whatever you want to call it. We'll go with Ender 3 V2 and then Ender 3 Pro is the same profile. We'll go ahead and add that profile. Now we'll want to scroll down and look at the current slicer settings. Here you'll want to choose which slicer you have and then follow the guide based on your corresponding slicer. We'll show you guys how to do it with Cura. So we'll just be adding some beginning G-code into our slicer profile. To do that, we'll scroll down and click the link that indicates the version of Cura that we have. Then we'll just copy the G-code here and we'll paste it into the start G-code in our slicer. First, you'll wanna open up Cura, hit settings, printer, and then manage printers. Under manage printers, you wanna hit machine settings. It'll bring you up to this page and all you have to do is paste the G-code that you previously copied. You'll want to paste it right at the top. After that, Octolapse should be working. There's a lot of settings and configurations to get things working just right, so don't be afraid to mess around and figure out how it works best for you. We really like the center left and animated printing modes. Next, we have Themify. Themify is a fun one if you really like customization, or if you just want to change up your Octoprint user interface a little bit. There are already some awesome pre-built themes, or you can design your own themes to get it exactly how you like it. We'll go with the Discord theme for now. And we'll go ahead and change the nav bar menu to a nice purple. Well, that's all we've got for our plugin roundup today. We'll drop a link to all of these plugins below so you can check them out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button to give it a like and subscribe so you can be notified for future videos. If you have some favorite Octoprint plugins that we didn't cover, drop a note in the comments and let us know what they are.